Well, let's find out more about this project from Francois Perrault. He is the managing director at 14 Trees and joins us now. Great to have you with us, uh, Francois. Now, explain to us uh, where the idea to use cutting-edge 3D technology uh, came from, and certainly how has it helped uh, to solve the need for infrastructure uh, in Malawi? Basically, uh, th there is a huge housing crisis happening across the African continent. More than 2 million houses are needed in Kenya, 17 million in Nigeria, and you mentioned also the school backlog in Malawi. And when we looked at it, we restarted our business in Malawi, and we saw that it would take more than 70 years to clear that backlog with brick and mortar construction solutions. And when we looked into 3D printing and the speed it brings, we realized that we could do that in less than 10 years. This is why we picked that technology uh, uh, for Malawi and other African countries. Mm. Now, this project uh, is quite interesting because uh, it's revealed how possible it is to set up much-needed infrastructure in Africa faster uh, and, of course, at a lesser cost. So give us a sense of the potential that this project has uh, to become a common practice in Africa going forward. Uh, 3D printing is basically a new chapter in the history of construction. So it's for us to decide how, what we want to do with it and how we want to use it in Africa. What we've been able to demonstrate is that we can print the walls of a house in less than 12 hours, the walls of a school in less than 18 hours, and all this with a CO2 footprint reduced by 50 to 70 percent while still having buildings that are affordable. So you can imagine using it for many other types of application, building uh, uh, clinics, building uh, school facilities, uh, building hospitals, uh, emergency shelters, and, and many others. So the potential is just enormous. Mm. Well, on that note, what are your plans then to scale up uh, this technology across uh, Africa going forward? We are currently working on several projects uh, that we will be announcing in the coming months, but we, we will be printing uh, a house in Kenya very soon, also in Zimbabwe, potentially as well in Ethiopia, on Western Africa, in Nigeria, just to name a few. Uh, and what we are doing with our parent company, Holsim, is to make sure that in these countries we have the production facilities to manufacture the ink. So the product that we use to print those walls will be manufactured in Africa, creating local jobs in Africa. Mm. Now, could there be any obstacles uh, to pushing forward with this technology going forward? Uh, looking at the different factors, uh, maybe the cost, uh, um, for example, some have pointed to research that uh, shows the effects of 3D printing particles could be dangerous uh, to human beings' lungs going forward. So what are the major obstacles to seeing this become a reality in Africa? Um. I think the, the health problem you're referring to is probably coming from the printing of small objects in plastic. Well, here we are talking about construction 3D printing, which is using concrete. And concrete is a well-known material which is safe, which is versatile and more and more sustainable. So what we are doing right now is really to push the technology to its maximum in terms of cost efficiency working with local architects, uh, governments, universities, and NGOs to make sure that that technology is not only affordable, not only environmentally friendly, but also appealing to the low and mi middle income earners uh, in Africa today. Mm. Well, we'll certainly be watching your progress closely. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. That, of course, is Francois Perrault, Managing Director at 14 Trees.